this video, you'll be watching an excerpt from our AutoCAD Level 1 class. We'll be covering the basic modified tools, move, copy, and rotate. So when I teach these commands, I like to teach them several different ways, just so you know what's available, what you can do. So the first way, when I'm talking about the move command and the copy command, I'm going to call the first method random. And I'll explain in a minute. Second method will be using snaps. And third method will be using a distance. Okay, so for example, the move command. The first time we use that move command, we're gonna move the house from here to some random location. So we don't care where we pick it up and where we put it down, it's just gonna be to some random spot. The second time we move the house, we're going to snap to maybe the corner of the house. And then to put it down, we're going to snap to the top of the tree. So being more specific, picking it up from the corner, putting it down at the top of the tree. Okay, so the second time will be with snaps. The third time we move the house, we are going to move it a specific distance. So maybe I'll move my house 50 feet to the left. So I'll be able to type in that distance. Okay. So we'll use those three methods for move and copy, but I'll walk you through it. Um, the move command has a shortcut, M enter. It also has a button. So in the home tab of the ribbon, in the modify panel, we have that first button, move. For AutoCAD, you can use the command first, or you can select the objects first. Either method is fine. For class, I want us to all stick together. So I will say we will choose the command first. Okay. All right. So we're going to try it. We're going to be playing with this house, starting with the command M, enter. The command line tells me to select objects. I want to use a window to select the house. Enter. It tells me to pick a base point. So you want to pick up the house before you put it down. I'm not going to use any of my snaps. I'm just going to click somewhere nearby to pick it up. And I'm going to click somewhere random to put it down. All right, second one is with snaps. Let's turn on our snaps and let's make sure endpoint is checkmarked. Okay, so now we'll start the command again. M, enter. To select your house, use a window. Enter. When you pick it up, let's pick it up from this bottom left corner of the house using an endpoint snap. And then we're going to place it at the top of the tree with another endpoint snap. Okay, so we're able to be more specific with snaps. Now, our third time, we're going to move the house. If you guys remember your distance that you use for the mailbox, you can use that distance. If not, you can type D I enter and just estimate whatever distance you want. So maybe I want to move my house to here. Okay, so for me, I'll call that 80 feet. You might get a different number. So I want to move my house 80 feet to the right. So I'll turn on ortho. That way I can go horizontal. And I will start the command M enter. Selecting my house. I'm using a window from left to right so that I don't grab the tree. Enter. Base point, it's not too important, but I'll pick this corner. Then using ortho, I should be able to slide horizontally. I'll type 80 and I'll hit enter. Admasters offers online and classroom training for a variety of Autodesk software. For more information, go to www.cadmasters.com or give us a call at 925-939-1378. So that was move. Next is copy. We're going to copy the tree and we're going to use the same three things. So random, snaps, and distance. I will start by turning off my snaps and my ortho. We're on the random method. Starting the command, CO enter, select my tree with a window, enter, 
click somewhere nearby to pick it up. And we're just going to put a bunch of trees around the house. When you're done, just hit enter. Enter and escape often do the same thing, but <laughs> so every once in a while it matters. But in this case, either one, enter or escape. Okay, next we're gonna use snaps. So whatever tree is closest to the right side of your screen, pick that tree. We're gonna turn on our snaps and I have endpoint check mark. So we're gonna use copy, C, O, enter. Select that tree on the right side of your screen. Enter. You wanna click this bottom left corner to pick it up. And then let's snap it to the bottom right corner of that same tree. And I'm just gonna do that a few times. I'm just putting them side by side and I'll hit escape when I'm done. And the last one is distance. So let's use our distance command, D I enter. I want to measure a little bit above the tree to a little bit below the tree. For me, I'm going to be using 60 feet. Once you've measured that distance, we're going to use copy and we're going to stack them vertically. So I'll turn on ortho. All right. C, O, enter, select the whole row of trees, enter, click to pick them up. Using ortho, that should get you a vertical um, line. And we're using distance, right? So I want to type in a distance, 60, enter, double that number, 120, enter. If you want to do it one more time, do the math, 180. Enter, there you go. So I have like a forest and then our house is in the less dense tree area. So we have done move and copy. The next one is rotate. Rotate is gonna be similar, but it has a few differences. Let's move the circle, whatever method you want. Um, just move it so it's kind of on its own right here is fine. It's like a moon right now. We're gonna turn it back into a sun. And then I'm gonna put in the steps for rotate on the chat. All right, so rotate. First time we rotate will be to some random angle. Second time we rotate, we will rotate to a specific angle. Third time we rotate, we're gonna keep a copy of the original and there's gonna be a fourth time. The fourth time we rotate will be by reference. All right, so rotate. Before we start rotating, let's zoom into that circle and we'll draw a three point arc coming from the top quadrant. So I'll need to use a quadrant snap. So now that we have the arc, we're gonna use those steps. Copy it one more time. So first time, we're gonna rotate the arc around the sun, which really is rotating the arc around the center point of the circle. So to save us some time, turn on your snaps and turn on your center snap. It's best to not have too many snaps on at the same time because your cursor will start jumping around to different things. So just center, that's all we need right now. Okay, and we're gonna rotate this arc around the sun to some random angle. So starting the command, R, O, enter. Select the arc, enter. Your base point will be the center of the circle. Once you click the center point, you should see the arc follows your cursor. And so let's just rotate it slightly to the left and click. So that was rotating to random angle, number one. So number two, we're gonna rotate to a specific angle. I wanna rotate this arc 180 degrees. So it'll end up on this 
side. So from the top, R, O, enter, select the arc, enter. Your base point is the center of the circle. And now, instead of clicking, if you look at the command line, it asks you for a rotation angle. So let's type 180 and hit enter. So it should have gone to the other side of the circle now. Now, number three, we're going to keep a copy. If we're trying to create this sun, we need more than one arc, right? So every time I rotate, I want to keep a copy of the original arc. So starting from the top, R, O, enter. Select the arc, enter. Pick the center point of the circle. So from here, if you look at the command line, it has an option to keep a copy. So go ahead and click copy. Once you click copy, you see that the original stays where it is, and you're moving this copy of that arc. Type again, or actually, if you look at the triangle brackets, it already has 180 in there. Just hit enter to use 180. It remembered it for us. Now you should have two arcs. Let me know if you don't have two arcs. All right, I want you guys to repeat that. I want you to select two arcs. Rotate it 90 degrees, keeping a copy of the original. Once you do that, you can take four arcs, rotate it 45 degrees, keeping a copy of the original. So I put in here, our original was 180, then we're gonna do 90, we're gonna do 45, but the main point of this lesson is keep a copy. Right, okay, so try it out. Let me know if you need me. And so it should look like this when you get there, track done. All right, so we're able to rotate to a specific angle, keeping a copy of the original to get that nice, clean, sun-looking thing. Um, we'll save what we have. So there's one more in that list. After keep a copy, we're going to keep a copy. Well, we're going to rotate by reference. Let me have you guys do something on the side. Just using line, draw a four-sided shape. And I want that shape to be slanted, like a trapezoid like mine. Once you have that four-sided shape slanted here, then I'll have you guys draw a rectangle. We're going to cheat and use a rectangle button. <laughs> So this little drop down, I mean, if you click the button, it's a rectangle, but the drop down is to verify that you're clicking on rectangle and then just draw kind of like a window from left to right, make a little rectangle inside. Once you have the big shape and the rectangle, I want you to copy this line right about there. And then I'll explain what this is. So now that you have that, um, what we're going to do is that we're going to pretend this is a street and we're going to pretend this is somebody's property. And this is the rectangle is the house on their property, right? So I want the house to be parallel to the street. And so we'll use the rotate command to get it parallel. I'll have you guys watch me first. So I'm going to use R O enter. I'll select my rectangle, enter, and I will pick a base point. Um, I'll use endpoint snap and I'll pick the corner closest to the street. So now I'm pivoting from that corner. Okay. But if you notice the yellow line doesn't quite line up with the front of the house. So it's going to be difficult to get this straight. Um, so what we'll do is in the command line, we'll use the reference option. When I use reference, I need to click two points that represent the front of the house. So I'll click from here to here. Now this yellow line definitely lines up with the front of the house. If I had an angle, I could type it in, but if I don't have an angle, the command line has this option called points. 
when I click on points, I can just click from the right side of the street to the left side of the street, and it will match that angle. Okay, so let's try it together. Let me undo. All right, so together type R O enter. Select the rectangle, enter. Your base point is the corner closest to the street. It should rotate freely. In the command line, pick reference. I want you to choose your base point again, then the other side of the house. You wanna reference the front side of the house. Once you click those two points, you should see the yellow line lines up perfectly with the front of the house. And now we have to use points. Go to command line and pick points. And we'll go from right side. I'm, I'm going right to left because on the house, I went right to left. So you just want to match. If you went left to right on the street, you'll go left to right. Okay. So for me, that'll be right to left. And there we go. So now it's parallel. Ad Masters offers online and classroom training for a variety of Autodesk software. For more information, go to www.cadmasters.com or give us a call at 925-939-1378.